Well, as a child, I had a very beautiful cat called Rosie, who was actually, my parents got her just before I was born. And if they hadn't got Rosie, I would have been called Rosie, which I think is really, really strange. I can't imagine being called something else. And I'm sure it would have made me into a completely different person. Um, so we had Rosie and then we had two dogs. My very first pet of my own was a mouse, a small, um, very dark brown mouse um, called Truffle, because he looked like a chocolate truffle. And now we have three beautiful Bengal cats who are very spotty and look like little leopards. I didn't actually want to be an author when I was a child. I wanted to be a librarian because I thought that librarians got to spend their entire day sitting in a massive room full of books and just reading all the books and I couldn't actually think of anything better. For a very short while I decided I wanted to be an archaeologist but then I discovered that actually most archaeologists aren't digging up pyramids. It's really muddy being an archaeologist and I decided it's too muddy and too wet. So, and then I discovered that um, editors who, um, were people who actually did get to read all day. They got to read books um, when they just come straight from the author and they then got to read them again and again and make them better. And that's what I did for about six years before I started writing. And it was a lovely job, it was such a wonderful job. I would recommend it to anybody. I think that if you want to be an author, the absolute best thing you can do is just keep on reading. And not always reading necessarily the things that you think you're going to like. Sometimes it's important to read things that you're not really sure about and you think that actually you, you're not going to like at all. And if you can work out why it is that you do or don't like something, if there's a book that you think, well, this is really boring and I don't want to finish it, if you can work out what it is that's making you not like it, then when you write your own stories, you can remember all those things and try to make sure you're doing it in a way that you're making a book that you would want to read. And the other really important thing is never throw any ideas away. There are some books that I've written where I've had the idea for them you know, five or six years before, but it hasn't been quite the right time to write that book and I've saved the ideas. So it's really important to have a box or a file or somewhere on your computer where you can keep all of your stories and then you can come back to them. And that's, that's a really good thing to do. such a hard question to answer. Um, I suppose I love being able to go to a completely different world. Um, to, I think when you're reading you can get to know a character so closely and, and at the same time you can almost take that character away with you and think about other things they might do. And that's one of the really lovely things about being an author actually, that um, sometimes children say, well I think you should do this because I think your, your character would, would love to go and, go and visit this place or she, she needs to go and do this or why don't you get her a new pet? And I love the idea that I've created a world where somebody can take one of my characters and go off and have their own adventures and I think that's so special.